Holy Spirit really ministered to me with Proverbs 3, the first two verses of it this morning. Um, people don't like law. Some people don't like the fact that there's law. God has law. It's called Torah. My son, forget not my law, but let your heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life and peace. Shalom. They will add to you. And if we ignore God's law, his Torah, that which he created with and ingrained into creation, we're actually doing damage to our own soul. Proverbs 8, the last verse said, they that despise the word of God, the wisdom of God, mistreat their own soul. They do damage to their own soul. There's a lot of lawlessness. And Paul talked about that. He said there's coming a day when lawlessness will abound. And we're in that day. Lawlessness abounds. People don't want to be governed by anything that they don't want to do. The problem is, apart from God, our flesh is so vacillating. It wants to do different things at different times. And uh, I really, really pity children who are raised by parents, who were raised by parents who had no regard for the law of God. My goodness. And here's the flip side of that coin. Psalm 119, verse 45. Talking about the law of God, David said, I will walk at liberty because I keep your precepts, Lord. I keep the things that are a part of your Torah that I love so much because they keep me within a boundary that is a very wide and open space with lots of room to move and breathe and live, and they keep me at liberty. The other side of that is bondage. Just let a person try to live in lawlessness and see how quickly their life becomes entangled with bondage. And I'm not even talking about breaking the law and getting arrested and putting in jail. That's that's one of the uh, most extreme manifestations of what I just said. I'm talking about the bondage of self-destruction that happens when people disregard the law of God. Do you want to live in shalom? Do you want long life in shalom? Then regard the law of God. I mean, I'm envisioning right now um, a dog inside a portable pen that its owner has set up for him so that that dog won't get out and get into something that could hurt it or even kill it. God has set boundaries for us, and they are awesome boundaries of his love in the word of God that he gave to keep us walking in freedom and living in shalom. God wants shalom for us. He wants shalom for you. Will we step into his boundaries and let his law, his precepts, control our lives? God bless you. Shalom to you. <laughs>